Hello everyone and welcome back to Mistledyne Online Legend of Dragoon Episode 7. In the last episode, we tackled the Marshlands and defended the 7th Fort from an attack by the Imperial Sandora. Unfortunately, we were a little too late and everybody died. My bad. Well, sort of. The last episode was actually technically 6.5 where we did some backtracking and I showed you unique monsters and a hidden chest that I missed in the prairie. And uh, we also did some, I guess you can you can call it some, some off-screen training, I suppose. Rose hit level 9, which is pretty gnarly. Dart hit Dragoon level 2, meaning he learned a new magic attack called Explosion. We haven't seen it yet, but I'll be sure to show you as soon as I possibly can. Addition-wise... Dart is two away from maxing out Volcano, which is super, super cool. Uh, Lavitz maxed out Harpoon and has now moved on to Spinning Cane. Shayna is Shayna. And then Rose is at 64 out of 80 already on her Whip Smack, so it just goes to show how fast she actually is. Uh, and now we're going to head into the Volcano Villude, a dungeon that contains two, two bosses. If you missed it in the last episode, or 6.5, I should say, I actually went back to Bale and sold some items, but I also bought some items. Uh, actually, let me just go to list and show you that way. So I sold some stuff, but more importantly, I bought four Spear Frost. You are going to see how important these things are soon. So I actually want to look real quick and see who is our highest magic attack right now. Dart is at 27, Lavitz is at 19, uh, Shane is at 27, and Rose is at a whopping 44. Amazing, incredible stuff. So welcome to Volcano Villude. Look at how cool the background is to this. So we're just here to just cross quickly and, oh my God, what's that? Is that an eruption of the volcano? No. It's not. What is that? God, it looks like a... That is... Firebird. It's bad timing showing up now. We still have to deal with the dragon. Can we just let it go? It's up to him. Hmm. Oh, I guess he said... Nope! He saw us! Run! Oh, he is after us, my friends. What's strange is his name is actually... Pitten? Sort of? Uh, in, in in the Japanese translation, his name is actually a Rock Pitten, uh, which is a rock climbing tool. So he's Pitten the Firebird. Or Moltres, we can just call him Moltres. Uh, it seems we lost him. Good. Let's move on. So it looks like our easy journey across Volcano Villud is, is not going to come to pass, and instead, we have to come down into the depths of the volcano because we can't cross overhead without that firebird attacking us. But right here, we can find an extra spear frost, meaning we now have five of them. So if you already if you already had one, uh, you're all good. Now, we are going to encounter an enemy that we haven't seen before because of course, Volcano Villude has some enemies that are unique to uh, the area. So there are actually about four enemies that you can find, and the first one that we get here is the Fire Spirit. These guys have about 26 health and do have a 10% ch chance of dropping the Spirit Cloak, which is uh, not a bad item to receive, actually, and something that I will be farming myself to make sure that I get one, you know, now. We should be able to defeat these in one hit every single time. You can see the power of Volcano now, and watch this Whip Smack. Oops, I, uh, <clears throat> never mind. Never mind. So we took down those fire spirits. Obviously, everything in here is fire elemental. Uh, and those give about 12, uh, 13 to 12 experience each. Gold give about 12. Fire spirits, not too bad. But we did get our first item, which is pretty nice, that spear frost. And now we can continue on through this next map. Where there is an item here. How do we get it, I wonder? It's almost like, oh, right there. Oh, cool. And we will get a mind purifier. You might not need those, uh, or you might feel like you don't need those, but you will. Okay? You might think you do, but you don't. Uh, now, which way do we want to go? We actually want to head right here, because this is going to lead us to another item that is pretty darn useful. Another accessory. Also, I love this. I don't know why, but this map is so cool. Uh, it looks super dangerous. Dangerous, uh, which I enjoy. And right here we can grab a panic guard, an accessory that guess it, guess what? It it prevents the it, it prevents panic. Yep.
and here we have another fire spirit and an enemy called the salamander the salamander is actually the highest uh yielding experience here with 17 total and we can kill it in one hit because you know rose is super super strong uh the salamander has 41 health which we're going to defeat it every single time uh and then we can of course go and use our final volcano for quite some time my friends on the fire spirit meaning that we have officially maxed out volcano Let's hope that we get that spirit cloak. Oh, by the way, uh, salivators can drop a Sun Rhapsody, 8% chance. It also looks like Lavitz is super close to leveling up, uh, which is pretty nice for us. So let's go ahead and actually show a couple things here. So I wanna go into the addition system here and change, look at Volcano, 250 damage percent with 36 SP, not bad. We're gonna instead go with Burning Rush now because it's time to start working on that. And, uh, wow, Lavitz has not had a chance to use Spinning Cane at all since we got in here. Whip Smack is at a solid 65, and, uh, that's not what I want to do. I want to look at lists real quick so that we can see Panic Guard avoids the abnormal status confusion. Who would have thought? Absolutely crazy. And now we can head out, uh, this way, now that Burning Rush is actually equipped. There's no other items that we can get, uh, in this section. Kind of a dead end, so go get the Panic Guard. But now we can head over to the west here, to the left, into an area that has a save point for us, as well as some additional items. And also, somebody way in the back there? Hello? I don't, I don't know why somebody's here, but... Okay, so you can use the save point here. Not a bad idea. And now we can continue on this way. Towards a big area full of lava, which, you know, no big deal whatsoever. Look at how the lava looks so good. Oh my God, I love it so much. And you'll notice that there are a bunch of, of fish flying around now. I don't, listen, I don't know. I don't ask questions. Uh, actually, you can you can encounter these. You can just hit them. Uh, and every time, it's a collision-based encounter. So every time that you hit them, uh, you'll be forced into a battle against them. So let's actually try to get into a fight. There we go, perfect. And you can actually stand here and just keep fighting them over and over and over and over and over. Which, if you have a turbo controller or something like that, and you want to sit here and farm XP, uh, you could do it. It's not going to be bad. But anytime that you get into a thing like this, you'll see like the character flash and all that. So these are magma fish, fire elements, 26 HP, uh, and we're going to destroy them. They do have a 10% chance of dropping... Oh, man, I forgot I had healing. I forgot it was Burning Rush. Hang on, I have to show you Burning Rush, guys. I have to, I have to, I have to. Uh, well, first, okay, he's gonna run away because it's a magma fish. Sure, of course. Even with a turbo controller, I know you're not gonna be able to nail your addition system, but like, you know, still. Oh, look at how good Spinning Cane is. All right, we'll show you Burning Rush some other time. My God. It's only a two addition, addition, two attack addition. Oh, and cool, we got a healing potion. Not that we need it. Okay, now we can use Dart and actually nail his burning rush. burning rush. I love it. Burning rush. Such a cool attack. I love the, I don't know what about, I, I think it's the kick. Honestly, I think, I think the kick's what does it for me. It's so cool. Anyways, we can move on now. And Lavitz leveled up. So he is officially level nine as well. So we have a team full of level nines. Minus Shayna because Shayna's Shayna. So we want to go this way and, oh. Getting hot, Dart. What is, what is this feeling? It's calling me. Shayna, where are you going? Oh no, Shayna. So we can't go this way and go up here, but, but don't do that. Instead, we want to follow Shayna. But before you do that, before you even consider doing that, May I recommend equipping your strongest additions, which I'm actually going to keep Burning Rush because I want the additional additions. I want to be able to learn them. But also, I recommend equipping something like a Stun Guard, for instance, on darts or a Panic Guard or anything like that. Uh, it's going to be useful. So why don't we go forward and let's head into this room and make sure Shayna is safe. What is that? You were being called by this? I don't know. 
But when I came here, I didn't hear the voice anymore. Is that alive? Looks like a stone statue. Don't go near it! I feel... something's wrong. Listen to Shayna. This... Virage is still alive. Virage? A what now? Virage? You don't know about it? Okay, I'll explain it to you. You know about the Dragon Campaign, right? Yeah. The Winglies were outnumbered, so they used this creature called Virage as their trump card in the war. Just as humans use dragons, Winglies use Virage. You guys might remember that the Virage is the 108th species, the, the fruit that grew off of the tree. The final race. I thought the dragon campaign was over 11,000 years ago. How can this still be alive? Oh, it's alive, I would say. It's due to a hatred of humans or a vendetta against us dragoons. We gotta settle this. Or let's run. Not gonna have time. And now we have to fight against a barrage. Something that has survived a millennia in lava. And this is a very, very wounded Virage, my friends. It is not the full power Virage of the ones that existed in the Dragon Campaign. No, this one is missing an arm and a body and everything else. In fact, you'll notice that we have three targets. We can attack here the Virage body, the Virage arm, and the Virage head. We are going to go for the arm right away. Now, do not use Spear Frost at all in this fight. 34 damage done on the arm. Not ideal. Uh, considering that we need to be doing about, well, 50 health or so. Instead, we're going to use uh, Miss Rose here to deliver 64 damage to the arm. That is actually going to erase the arm, make it so that the Virage can actually only attack us with one attack, or technically two. The Laser Beam, which will do a pretty okay damage. About 60, probably, give or take. Yep, 58. It also has another ability where it can it can uh, put status ailments on us. Then we aren't going to focus the body at all. There is no point of focusing it. Instead, we're going to focus on the head that has 358 health or 350 health. Luckily, a whip smack is going to be able to do a solid 81 damage against this thing. And then Lavitz, of course, coming in with his spinning cane is going to be able to do probably about another 43. We are rocking this thing, man. We aren't going to use any of our, uh, we're not going to use any 35 damage. We're not going to use any of our magic attacks or dragoons stuff yet. Instead, we're just going to focus on uh, taking down the head as fast as we possibly can. Now, with that arm defeated, that's less damage that it's actually dishing out to us. And because it's already in the red, I'm going to ignore the arm and see if we can finish this thing off. 35 damage. I don't know. It looks like we might be getting close. Can Lavitz deal the final blow? 43 damage? Nope. It looks like Rose is going to take down the Virage. Yeah! Oh, yeah, Dart! Push that baby back into the lava. Whoa. It's dangerous here. Let's go back. Come on. Shayna. Are you all right? Does Rose know something we don't? Rose, run! I think Rose knows that that Virage is defeated. That music that plays, so creepy. 
we got 100 gold, 600 experience points, a mind purifier, and two healing potions. Look at that experience. Still not enough to get a level, but, you know, not bad. Too many items. Replace? No. Uh, yeah, we're just going to leave. I'm not going to take any of those items with me because I just don't need them. So that, my friends, is the first boss fight here in Volcano Village, but we aren't done yet. We can actually go back into this room that we were just in, if we so choose. There's nothing in here, though. Uh, it's just where the room was. I think it's just kind of cool that you can come in here. There's no, there's no hidden items or anything like that. It's just a... It's just a, you know, that's where we just fought a Virage for the first time ever. Maybe the last time? Who knows? I know. Anyways, we're going to head this way back over to where we need to go, which is through this doorway. We're almost out of here already. Hey! Is anybody there? The music. Did you hear something? Hey! Help! Look, over there. It's a man. Help me! My foot slipped and I fell! We got you. Hey, we'll just pull this guy up. This is the guy that we saw way back. I'm walking on the side. Oh, thanks, really. I didn't think I would make it. It was really good. Yeah, thanks. I can't thank you enough, but please at least take this. Oh, don't. We can't accept such an expensive item. Yeah, you have to. You folks saved my life. I'll feel bad if you folks don't take it. Take it. Once decided, it's hard to take it back. It's a man thing. <laughs> Excuse me? Well, thank you. And we get the sapphire pin, which is an accessory given to us from Davos of Lohan. I was told I could find a burning gem around here, so I came and look what happened to me. Almost died. By the way, I'm an antique dealer. If you happen to be in Lohan, why don't you drop on by? Later. He's funny. What do you mean he's funny? You got a crush on him or something, Shayna? <laughs> Anyways, we were able to get the sapphire pin. Which is pretty neat for us. Look at this area. So cool. So let's actually look and see what the Sapphire Pin actually is, shall we? So if we go to Arms, uh, we can go and look at... We don't need the Sun Guard anymore, by the way. We can take that off. When damaged by uh, when damaged by magic, MP is accumulated. So the Sapphire Pin, every time that we take magical damage, uh, it will actually restore MP to us, which is very, very strong. So I, right now, uh, am a little worried about going into whatever might happen in the future. Uh, low health. So I'm going to go ahead and use these health potions for a couple different reasons. One, to clear them out of our inventory a little bit, and also because, uh, well, uh, you'll see in, in a second. So let's continue up this way. Looks like we're gonna be in a random encounter. Okay, before I continue on, I actually wanna make some changes in our equipment setup here. I'm actually going to remove the power wrist from our dear, our dear friend Rose. And the only reason for that is because uh, I'm actually gonna be using her a bit. So I'm gonna put the elude cloak on that we got from the yellow bird. Uh, because I'm gonna be using her to use magic and not actually use any uh, physical attacks. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw that power wrist onto Mr. Lavitz here uh, to make sure he's good to go for this next fight and able to do as much damage as humanly possible. Let's go ahead and make sure that he also, um, I'm gonna keep spinning Kane just because I do want the additional additions and same with Burning Rush and all that. But I think we'll, oops, I meant to look at Rose real quick. 72 out of 80. That's pretty good. So we're going to continue forward. Obviously, you can tell that I I think there's a boss fight coming up. Firebird. Shayna, can we go to the exit? No, it's in flames. I guess we got to fight. Let's go. We, uh, I guess this whole thing was a waste of time. We should have just fought it out in the open. Actually, no. And maybe it's weaker here. I don't know. But we now have to fight the Firebird. Kind of like a phoenix, I guess. Look at how cool it looks. It looks beautiful. I remember the first time I encountered this thing, I was like, whoa, holy moly. So let's go ahead and use Spinning King against Firebird. See how much damage? 52 solid damage. Beautiful. Now, this particular enemy. Uh-oh. Okay, that did no damage whatsoever. Uh, but this thing has 600 health, and of course its element is 
fire. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, and attack. Yes. See how much damage. Oops. Well, maybe if I didn't fail Burning Rush, it wouldn't do 24 damage. Uh, more importantly, though, our dear, our dear, beautiful Rose here is going to go ahead and use uh, Spear Frost on this enemy, which is hopefully going to do a tremendous amount of damage. But we'll we'll have to find out and see. 150, so it does 127 damage. That, my friends, is why we picked up so many of them, and why I went all the way out of my way to go to Bail. Not a bad idea, and that was like a really low, like 100. And 127, 150% on that magic attack. Not bad. So only 35 damage out of Dart. So Dart right now is kind of our weakest dude at the moment. But that's okay. We're going to go with Spear Frost again. And we're going to see if we can uh, if we can really jack up the damage that we do on this thing. Let's see. Can we get more than... Yeah! 164%, 139 damage coming out of Rose with that Spear Frost. That is my friends, is the power, oops, of elemental attacks on the right thing. I am messing up my addition so hard today, it's horrible. You can see that this thing is doing almost no damage to Dart, especially, uh, but also to Rose. Lavitz is taking a little bit more, but he's still totally, totally fine. So we're gonna Burning Rush this up again. Again, really the reason I'm doing this instead of switching to Volcano is it's just addition, it's just being able to use our additions uh, and level them up quickly. So we're gonna Spear Frost again and hopefully be able to do a ton of damage. Uh, again, 127 and this thing only has 600 health. We're gonna, you're gonna see us just chewing through this thing's health. It's beautiful. Probably already gonna be in the red at this point. Absolutely, look at that. Oh my God, why do I keep messing up his spinning cane? That's unfortunate too, because I really want his to level up so we can finally get to Rod Typhoon. And because we had that Evade Cloak on Rose, she was able to dodge that attack. Which probably wouldn't do that much damage, but, you know. Wow, I messed that up super hard. Uh, solid 90 damage, and that is going to take out the Firebird. I messed that up super, super hard. But hey, you know what? Sometimes things happen. And we get 100 gold, 800 experience, and an item called the Red Eye Stone. Now, because we defeated this uh, so quickly, uh, it is worth mentioning that this boss does do something else called uh, Volcano Balls. It'll summon four Volcano Balls into the battle. You have to destroy them before the boss throws them at you. Uh, it's pretty simple, but it does do a lot of damage. Honestly, you don't really need to worry about them like I just showed, because you can defeat this thing super, super easily. Uh, it's, it's, it's defense is really bad, and I mean, you could just, you could wreck this thing. I'd even have to use my Dragoon forms. So, 800 experience, meaning everybody has leveled up. Shayna is now level 8, everybody else is level 10. That is beautiful, beautiful stuff. 1776 is Rose's current experience. Interesting. It was a hot fight. Good one, Dart. Good one. Well, my friends, why don't we get out of here? Let's get out of Volcano Villud. Actually, a fairly short dungeon, all in all. We can grab the last chest that's here in Volcano Villud, meaning that we got them all, 50G, and look, our dear friend Dabas that we just met. Oh, brother. You folks are still here. I don't remember the voice I did for him. My, my, folks, you look pretty tired. Want to buy something? I probably already told you, but I'm a trader. Yeah, we'll buy something. Actually, pretty unique thing here. So we can go and sell some stuff to him if we wanted, uh, which, yeah, we're looking fine. I don't think there's any reason to sell anything. Uh, not really, anyways. We do have 25 items, so uh, we luckily we were able to use a lot. You'll notice he has a Healing Potion, Sun Rhapsody, Angel's Prayer, Mind Purifier, Body Purifier, normal stuff. Here's the big thing here, though. Dancing Ray, light-based attack for all. This item is only available in two places. So it is only available right now from Davos or way later on in the game. So I'm actually going to buy uh, three of these just so that I have them, you know? Uh, and then we're just going to move on. That's all I wanted. I'm gonna go back to Lohan soon. If you wanna buy something, now's your chance. Yeah, we're all good. See ya, dude. Maybe we'll see that guy again. And look at that. We are already out of Volcano Villud. That was so quick. That was so fast. 
meaning in front of us. Oh, weird, what's this place? Well, I guess I can show you this enemy. This is another enemy that you could have encountered in Volcano Villude, the Red Hot Fire Elemental. Uh, 40 HP, should be able to take this down in uh, just a quick little, there we go, and go boom, 47 damage. Thank you very much, Lavitz, have a good day, my friend. Anyways, we can notice that there's, we can notice, we can, <laughs> there's obviously this place here that Dart's standing by, but we can't actually go there. I wonder what that place is. Anyways, this is where we need to go next. The nest of the dragon, the whole point, we are even here. That means in the next episode, we are gonna be taking on Fairbrand, the green tusk dragon. But before that, off screen, I'm gonna go farm those fire, uh, those flame spirits and see if I can go get, or those fire spirits, see if I can go get a spirit cloak for myself. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you were able to see that how easy the Firebird was, even with all of those mess ups that I did. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys really enjoyed, you can support the channel over on patreon.com slash missiledineonline for just a dollar a month. You can even become a sponsor here on YouTube or a channel member nowadays, uh, and you'll get a badge next to your name in the comment section uh, if you're, you know, so inclined. Thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender, to the Firebird.